Shall we? 963-964 AL East matchup here. Zach Eflin and the Rays at plus 145. Garrett Cole and the Yankees minus 165. Total of eight. That one's flat across the board at minus 110 as well. All right, B-Dub, what does it say? Uh, Eflin's been pitching better. Garrett Cole, of course, is still trying to kind of work his way into. It's probably one player who didn't need the All Star break. Probably like to see. Oh, hypnotize me, uh, number two. And but Garrett Cole's right, right up there. He's either number three or four. Twenty nine point one percent strikeout rate. Stuff plus eighty six percent. I think he's kind of rounding into form. He's he's looked good uh, to me, at least from, from the eye. And there's, the numbers are pretty decent. Seventeenth base winner rating out of one hundred and fifty. And then Eflin, uh, he's about mediocre. Seventy ninth out of one fifty. And the Tampa. Bay bullpen surprisingly 22nd in baseball versus an upgraded uh, rate base winner rating New York bullpen fourth in baseball. So for those reasons, I'm going with New York first leg of the base winner parlay, Kyle. We love New York, and I want to say something. We appreciate you guys watching. You know these days, it's a Friday. It's va- middle of summer, vacation time. We've been gone. We appreciate you guys coming back, waiting for us, being here, watching the show. Hit that like button. That helps us out more than you know. We need a couple more chat plays in there, so get in the chat box there and nominate what you think is the best play of the day so we can create the poll. You guys can get in there and vote. We make you an official part of our record. Uh, become a member for 99 cents. All you do is hit that join button. I've seen a couple questions about that. And get your questions in the chat box. We'll do our best to get to as many of them as we can. And, of course, head over to betustv.com slash join. Crypto bonuses, all that good stuff. You see the pop-up right there at the bottom of your screen. Kenny, what are we doing here? Are we back in Garrett Cole just blindly? But uh, Eflin started rough. He seems to be coming around a little bit here. So I'm not quite sure what to do with this one. Yeah, and uh, Fox Mulder in the chat, I do think, uh, kind of offers a good idea here. I mean, do you think you have starters on a short leash today? Obviously, all the bullpens mm-hmm. are fully rested. Is it like, do teams treat this not like it's like it's opening day, but like, you know, the first month of the season, you see pitchers are sort of capped. They kind of let them, you know, sort of get them warmed up again. And I think Cole is an interesting candidate in that spot simply because, like, I agree with you. I mean, he's slowly ramping back up. The stuff is looking better. The strikeouts are going up. I mean, do they then do they throttle him back down today or do they throw him back out there and give him 100 pitch leash, uh, pitch leash? I don't really have a good answer, but I do think it's a. It is an interesting angle to consider. I, I think with this one for me, it would be it would be Yankees or nothing. I just I, I have more long term faith in Cole. I like this Yankees lineup a thousand times more than I like Tampa Bay. But as I read that message, I'm now going through all the strikeout props and just I'm looking for an under that I that I like and I haven't found right. one yet. Yeah, maybe look at uh, Frankie Montas against the Nationals. I don't know if he's got great strikeout stuff in that one. You might I don't know if you get a depressed number, but that'd be right where I'd start. Uh, possibly out there in Cleveland as well. We're going to talk about the uh, maybe Matt Waldron out in Cleveland. But for purposes of the show, first leg of our base winner parlay today, we're locking in Garrett Cole and the Yankees full game on that one. That's full game, right? Yankees as the first leg of the base winner parlay. 